what is going on YouTube? Black Bigelow, male gigolo here today to congratulate a pair of YouTubers that I've been following a little bit for the last month or so. They just purchased a $1.8 million home. Guys, give a warm round of applause to Scammy and Greedy. Yeah, woo! Good job. Good job, guys. You did it. You scammed your way to the top. Now, forget the past vlogs of them crying about how they could not afford Shane's medical treatments, how they couldn't afford his injections. They couldn't afford a wheelchair for him to go around in. Forget that. They couldn't afford that because they were saving all of their gold to pile in a in a big, huge down payment on that 1.8, almost $2 million home. By the way, guys, if you are thinking about moving to the Minneapolis area, forget it. That place is a BLM shithole for real, for real. Anyways, so I watched a little bit of their video and I watched a couple other videos and I watched a video about how Hannah was addressing her haters. And in this video, they were lambasting their subscribers. And how dare they think that this is a fake love story. And to prove her love for this little man, she grabbed him by the face. Better be careful, don't want to break his neck. And she planted one of the most cringiest, weirdest kisses I've ever seen in my life. It reminded me of a third grade teacher tongue kissing her eight year old student. Guys, whoever seen that kiss, if you don't think that was cringy as shit, you're a lying sack of crap. That was one of the top 10 cringiest things on YouTube I've ever seen in my life. But I wanna give another warm round of applause to the person that's responsible for their success in life. No, not you as a subscriber, not Hannah or Shane, but Hannah's butt cheeks, yeah! Woo! Woo, Hannah's butt cheeks. Hey, listen, if it wasn't for that voluptuous backside of hers, all of this could not be possible. Now, I know there's a lot of drama on their channel. Will Shane live to see 2021 or 2022 or what have you? but nothing gets the boys rowdy and excited more than when Hannah tries to fit her big butt into a thong that's obviously too small for her big butt. But no pun intended. It's one of the things that the fellas enjoy watching their channel. I was also watching a video where they were in a dressing room and Hannah was trying on so, you know, that's really the only reason why I watch this channel. I only watch it just for her to try on swimsuits so I can look at her butt. That's about it. And I was watching this and Shane is in the dressing room with her and then she would like change and then, you know, they, she wouldn't show the part where she gets nude. But I was wondering, I wonder if she kicks him out of the dressing room while she changes. Get out of here, you little creep. I'm, tra I'm changing. You're, you know you're not allowed to see me naked. Listen, guys, I know a lot of you gerbils out there think that I'm hating on this person or the, this couple, this fake couple, and that I was being a bully. First of all, uh, bully is a gray area word, as I like to call it. Um, critiquing somebody, in my opinion, isn't bullying. But of course, you being a whiny sack of sappy crap that you are watching this channel, hating me for only telling you the truth or my opinion on what I think about their channel, which is, you know, in my opinion, the truth. You can't say that I'm bullying somebody or I'm making fun of somebody, which I have never made fun of Shane or his disability or Hannah. Well, there's really nothing to make fun of about her. She has a, you know, she's, she's hot. What do you, what do you want from me? I don't know. I never said anything bad about his physical disability. I only said that their relationship is a total fucking scam and you know damn well it is. It's 
it's a play thing. You first of all have to look at the obvious. How do you watch a person who is hopelessly disabled, right? And I, again, I feel bad for the guy and his lot in life. And yeah, I know a lot of you people are going to be commenting on this video. Will they feel bad for you? Sure thing, kids. Sure thing. How many hot girlfriends does a man who any normal, regular woman on the planet wouldn't even look at except for to look at and feel sorry for? How would he get... Uh, two other attractive girl Hannah is his third attractive girlfriend right okay cool so you can chalk it up like the first one you're like oh, okay and then the second one you're like okay and then the third one you're like wait a minute guys do we have a plant here I mean how stupid must you be to believe that this pairing is a, a first of all any kind of a normal relationship and number two that this is in fact a real uh, tried and true marriage it is not uh, this is reality TV. Uh, you know, you guys are the same assholes that believe that Russian interference in the 2016 election allowed Donald Trump to be the president. The same stupid motherfuckers right now that believe that 81 million Americans actually voted for a 78 year old decrepit man. Be as it may. Unfortunately, he is all, all of our president. Very, very sad. Anyways, you guys can believe whatever you want. If you want to believe that Shane, uh, who I believe can barely feed himself, again, I don't know, can acquire three hot girlfriends. And then, you know, a lot of you dipshits in the comments on the other video uh, would say like that I'm jealous. Uh, let me tell you something. I am jealous of no man ever. Uh, envy doesn't live in my heart. I'm actually glad that he has somebody in his life, even though it's all pretend and it's all play. I'm glad that he has YouTube. I'm glad that he has some form of fame online. I'm glad that he has an outlet. I'm glad that he has taken something that would be considered, and it's actually not even considered, it's actually a fact, uh, a very debilitating disease, and try to make something positive out of it. You know, a lot of you guys are saying, oh, Shane is so smart. Hey, he's so funny. Um, I don't think he's funny. Um, I really find it quite difficult to laugh at his lame jokes. And when you say he's smart, I don't see any kind of intelligence coming from him. I'm pretty sure he's a college educated kid. I mean, what else is he going to do with his life? It's not like he can get a regular job. But hey, he has persevered over this uh, disability as, as much as he can. And I wish him, uh, honestly, I wish him all the best. I don't have any uh, envy or jealousy or anything in my heart. I've simply just, I seen this channel and I'm simply calling them out for the, for the fuckery that it really is. And, you know, be it as it may, let me have my opinion and you have yours at the end of the day. But when I see this channel, I just, I see the the ridiculous and the nonsense. And I want to add, I'm pretty surprised this channel hasn't really budged in terms of subscribers. If I didn't know any better, I would say that they've been stuck at 848,000 subscribers for quite some time now, ever since I first laid eyes upon this channel. And listen, I'm glad they got the house. I'm glad they're making a lot of money, you know. I would rather them make all that money than me because I don't need that money at the end of the day. I'm cheap to keep. I don't have to hire people to take care of me. You know, I, I'm, it's me by myself. I got nobody. I got no girlfriend. I got really, you know, no family. Please feel sorry for me. You know what I mean? It's all me by myself. So I'm actually glad that this guy has somebody in his life that he has an outlet on YouTube, that he has a voice that he can, you know, come on, you know, here on this platform and say whatever he needs to say and uh you know they need some drama in their lives to spice up their channel sometimes uh their videos they get you know not the greatest of views for them anyways for me it would be awesome uh and then sometimes you know hannah shows her big butt and then they'll get a couple million subscribers they play the game and they play it very very well if you want to believe their fairy tale love story which you know hey you want to believe in the in santa claus and he's in the Easter Bunny and, and all this and that, you know, go right ahead. But uh, I wish them 
you know, honestly, I wish them all the best and I hope that their channel blows up. I hope to get seven, eight million subscribers. And uh, last but not least, uh, I got a special message for the Hannah brought out there. Now, listen, there's going to come a point in time where you're really going to have to think because your mother and your father have already told you this. Uh, you guys could stop the video now. It's just me talking to Hannah. It's a pep talk. Just calm down. All right, listen. I'm already fairly certain that your parents have spoken to you about your relationship uh, with this guy. And we all know it's fake. Uh, they've already talked to you about, you know, what are you doing and blah, blah, blah. And, you, and you've told them that, you know, it's for YouTube. It's for a reality TV. I want to be rich and famous and successful. Anyways, listen, when you get tired of this bullshit with the fuckery and the charade, give me a call. I'm single. I'm fat. I'm working on it. I always say that and I never do because I'm really just... Anyways, give me a call. 972-765-8972. 972-765-8972. Now, she's probably not going to call me, but if you're a hot chick out there and you're looking for a homeless boyfriend, give me a call. 972-765-8972. Sex with me is average, a little bit above average. That's it. Just a little bit above average. All right, guys. I'll catch up with you later. Peace out.